In this video, we are going to analyze the discriminant of a quadratic equation. If you remember, we said that delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac, and this is the discriminant of the quadratic equation. And with respect to that one, we were finding x1 is equal to minus b plus root of delta over 2a, over 2a, and x2 is equal to minus b minus uh, root of delta over 2a it's going to be so these are the roots and uh, while you're finding the roots you're using the root delta so square root of the delta is important for us for finding the roots or to give information about the roots so if delta value is greater than zero it means that this is going to be different than zero and when you add a number to the b minus b it's going to be different and when you subtract from the b it's going to be different that's why there are going to be two different numbers but when it's equal to zero delta is equal to zero there is going to be only one real root because when it is zero minus b plus zero minus b minus zero so that's going, not going to make difference and the result it's going to be minus b over the root is equal to x1 is equal to minus b over 2a and, and this is double root case it's called because x1 and x2 they are same number and the last one is delta is less than zero if delta is less than zero, we are going to we know that root of the number what is written here a always must be greater than zero. If it is negative, it is not possible. So if delta is also root of delta, what is written here? If root of delta is uh, if delta is negative number, there is no real root. We are going to say and we are going to stop the solution. Now we have here three uh, different uh, question and we are going to analyze the delta and we are going to understand the, what kind of roots it has. If you remember delta is equal to b square minus b square. <coughs> now we have three questions here and we are going to analyze all the deltas here and to try to understand uh, the roots, what kind of roots we have here. First say delta is equal to b square minus 4ac, you know that one, and here this is the c value and this is the b value and what is written here it's going to be the a value and a we know that if there is no coefficient it's equal to 1. Delta is equal to b square minus 4ac, b, b is 6 squared minus 4 times a is equal to 1 times 7 is going to be delta is equal to 36 minus 28 it's going to be and delta is equal to uh, here it's going to be equal to 8 so the uh, which is greater than 0 and we can easily write under this one uh, equation has equation has two different distinct to this thing real real roots to this thing real roots we are going to write here and roots it's going to be so with respect to this one delta is equal to here uh, 8 which is root delta is equal to root of 8 and I'm going to write this one as simpler form 2 root 2 because it's 4 times 2 root of 4 it's going to be equal to 2 then x1 is equal to minus b which is equal to uh, 6 minus b plus root of delta over 2a which is equal to minus 6 plus because it's 6 minus 6 plus 2 root 2 over 2 times 1 which is equal to minus 6 plus 2 root 2 over 2. If we want, we can simplify this one, but <coughs> no, there is no need. And x2 is equal to minus b minus root of delta over 2a, which means minus 6 plus, uh, actually minus, minus 6 minus 2 root 2 over 2. So, as you see, when delta is greater than 0, we have uh, two different roots. Now let's check when delta is equal to 0 case. Here the delta a is equal to 1, you know that one, b is equal to minus 4, and c is equal to 
c is equal to 4 also. So delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac if we say it's going to be equal to delta is equal to uh, minus 4 squared plus actually minus 4 times a is equal to 1 and c is equal to 4. So delta is equal to 16 minus 16 it's going to be and delta is equal to 0. So uh, we are going to say a question has two, uh, pardon, uh, double root. It has double root and uh, we are going to understand, we are going to try to understand how it's going to be. Root of delta is equal to root of 0 which is equal to 0 also. So x1 is equal to minus b plus root of delta over 2a when you say it's going to be equal to 4 minus b minus minus 4 uh, plus root of 0 over 2 times 1 it's going to be which is equal to uh, 4 plus 0 over 2 which is equal to 4 over 2 and that's equal to 2 it's going to be what about x2 x2 is equal to minus b minus root of delta over 2 which is if I do this one 4 minus 0 over 2 which is equal to 4 over 2 again and the answer again 2 it's going to be so x1 and x2 x1 is equal to x1 is equal to x2 is equal to 2 so this is the double root case double root case it's going to be and the last one is delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac and uh, as, is, as you understand here a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 2 and c is equal to 5 then uh, minus 2 square minus 4 times uh, 1 times c it's equal to uh, 5 which is equal to 4 minus 20 and the result is equal to minus 16 and for the x1 you are going to use root of delta and root of delta is equal to root of minus 16 and root of minus 16 as you know it's not real number so there's no real number like root of 16 that's why we are going to say here no real solution for the third one okay if we continue to solve a new question here there may be these kind of questions also about the uh, discriminant here uh, it says that uh, for which values of the k the equation has no real solution has no real solution means in our language uh, discriminant delta delta less than zero has no real solution so I'm going to check the delta delta b squared minus 4 ac must be less than zero here this is a is equal to 3 and this is b and this is c it's going to be here and b squared minus 4 ac minus 4 square minus 4 times a is equal to 3 <coughs> times k and k is c is k less than 0 so 16 minus 12k is less than 0 so 12k you can send to other sites like 16 is less than 12k and if you send to 12 to the other side it becomes division 16 over 12 is less than k so when you simplify this two by four here if we simplify by four uh, the result it's going to be the result it's going to be equal to both of them because they are divisible 4 over 3 is less than <coughs> k here and with respect to that one with respect to this one uh, if you choose your k value what you are choosing here if you choose your k value less than 4 over 3 then your equation has no uh, has no real solution if you choose bigger than 4 over 3 you will have two different root and if you choose equal to 0 it means that you have double root ok for which values of m the equation has double root what is the double root case double root case means delta is equal to 0 
delta is equal to 0. So delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. It means that 3m parenthesis squared uh, minus 4 times a is equal to 1 times uh, c is equal to minus 5m minus 1 is equal to 0. It's continuing. 9m squared minus 4 times minus 5m is equal to minus 4 times 1 is equal to minus 4. Of course, it's going to be minus 4 times minus 5. It's going to be equal to plus 20m. And minus 4 times minus 1, it's going to be equal to plus 4 is equal to 0. So uh, here it's going to be, if we want to factorize 9m and m, we can factorize 2, uh, 2 if we simplify. Uh, pardon, if we factorize here, if we cross the multiply m times 2 is equal to 2m, 9 times m is equal to 18m, the sum is equal to 20m, it's going to be, and this is the mid term, and it means that my factorization is true like this. So I'm going to get 9m plus 2 times uh, m plus 2. It must be equal to 0. m is equal to minus 2 over 9. m is equal to minus 2. It's going to be.